It's currently minus 14 degrees Celsius, feels like minus 19 degrees. Behind me, I have my 2022 Tesla Model X long range. It is currently preheating the cabin to the set temperature of 21 or 22 degrees Celsius. I have the Nokian Hagabelita R5 SUV winter tires on the car, 265-45 R20 all around. I didn't go with a staggered fitment because I wanted to make sure I can rotate the tires easily. The car is plugged in. I did charge it up to 100% overnight, but whenever it was morning time and I looked, it was uh, stopped at like 98%. Car is unlocked. We don't have the snowflake looking thing and Let's just see how many kilometers we can drive. Nice and warm in here. I love the Model X. This is literally the best car I have ever had from every car, especially for road tripping. It is so comfortable. It is so big and wide and open. Like you just feel really great. It has a lots of room in here, a lots of storage space. The reason we're going on this trip is because I was able to find a God of War PlayStation 5 digital edition console at Best Buy. That was the only one that had it. All the online ones were all sold out. So now we can just do a road test trip to see how the car behaves in the minus 14 degrees. If we're gonna be able to make a round trip going with 97% battery or are we gonna have to supercharge the experience I've had with the car I should be able to go all the way to Red Deer and then be able to come back with no issues but let's see if the colder weather is gonna make an uh, impact on that it says we should be there with 50% battery it's a 171 kilometer drive 1 hour 47 minutes and we should be there at 5 52 p.m. it is currently 4 5 p.m. minus 14 degrees Celsius if we go to the display here and then change this to distance we can go 530 kilometers it says from this charge and if I turn that into miles, that is 329 miles. And the temperature currently outside is 8 degrees Fahrenheit. Got the energy app opened. During park, it shows us everything pretty much. So we should see what to use, the amount of percentage. There's our trip planned ahead. All the climate usage. We should see all of this at the end of the trip. 49.7% is the life projection. 4.10 p.m., 96% battery, minus 14 degrees. Let's get on this trip. We just arrived to Best Buy with 48% battery. Let's look at the results here. It says we arrived with 47.9%. It used 44.3% for driving, 4% on climate. I did have to increase it to like 22 degrees. It got a bit cold around this area. Also using quite a bit of the defrost on our way here because the windows were getting all frozen up. As you can see, it starts to do now as well, but much better now. Uh, so I did use the front defroster the rear one i don't think i used or i used just a little bit elevation was minus 1.2 percent i believe this is a positive it means we actually gained quite a bit of uh, battery then we have everything else which used 1.5 percent let's go over here to the rated this is kind of how we should have done 175.1 kilometers what we drove Staying below 110 kilometers an hour would have saved you 0.7% since you're last charged. We did go the speed limit, so I guess this means you have to be 
really like below like 110 like 109 for example going uphill cost 3.7 percent and going downhill saved 4.8 percent since your last charge so as you can see we did end up saving quite a bit of range on our way here it's interesting to see how it will be on my way back are we going to be using more energy since we're going to be going more uphills i guess i don't know uh, temperature did go down to even 21 degrees right now it's minus 19 my watch says it's minus 20 but yeah we use 16.7 percent more than what the vehicle estimation is so yeah this is kind of how it looks i will change this over to distance so we can see that in kilometers so that's what it looks like take a look at the trip arrived with 262.4 kilometers here is in park since last charge and now i will change it to miles it is minus one fahrenheit and here it is in miles let's go to the drive there's the trip in miles so all the information i just mentioned and then of course the rated so 57.4 miles more than the estimated vehicle consumption 109 miles 43 kilowatt hours of battery average energy was 393 watt hours per mile here it is in kilometers so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you're new to the channel consider subscribing i hope it was informative and i'll see you guys in the next one